All right, guys, Papa Pepper here. My old swamp I used to hang out at on the Plover River. I'm just going to show you once here how I catch turtles. This is one way that Papa Pepper catches turtles. So, you ready, boy? You watch and learn. So, here it just looks like a bunch of nasty, crazy stuff. All you do is you jump out in there because this is where all the fun happens. On a nice hot day, this stuff here is knee deep now, but the turtles love to come out in here. And the reason they come out in here is for one, they got a lot of cover. Another one, it heats up so fast, so it's cold blooded creatures. They'll like to be out in here because it'll be nice and warm, keep them nice and hot. There goes a fish swimming underneath it. Um, so there's not going to be many up sunning themselves right now. Otherwise, you'd see heads that look like that little thing sticking up there. What I might be able to do is see if I see a head pop out. If you see a head pop out, you locate it, you fix your eyes on it, and then you run to where it is. Um, getting a little shallower now. And you know, plenty of people wouldn't like to come out and stuff like this. That's fine. They can watch me do it, but also because not a lot of people come out and stuff like this, it usually gives me a pretty high success rate because the creatures out here aren't exactly expecting it. So a couple things I'm doing. One, I'm feeling with my feet along the bottom. Two, I'm looking back and forth in front of me. And three, I'm scanning far out, especially when you got like this where you can catch the reflection of the clouds. It's easy to pack, pick out a black head over this way, much harder to see. So just kind of walking back and forth. I'm going to work my way a couple times across this thing, just moving slightly in each time because sometimes you'll just see a big snapping turtle shell sitting somewhere in here but there's also painters soft shells blandings turtles here um, I saw yeah I saw a wood turtle on the shore here once so now we're uh, a little shorter just above ankle deep there goes a fish Not really seeing anything that looks like turtle heads out this way yet. Sometimes they look similar to those two things there. Those are both sticks. Sometimes you'll see little baby ones swimming along through this stuff in the shallows here. So, so far, what are we? Almost three minutes in and we got nothing. Well, three minutes isn't that big of an investment of time either, so. I'm gonna cut back across this way. And then head up into there. And those fish swimming out. And fish and turtles will swim different. A turtle will dive down and then hide under. A, a fish will just zip across the top. So even if I catch some ripples, you may be able to evaluate by the ripples who's doing the rippling. Sometimes turtles will just dive to the bottom too and then uh, hide there. <clears throat> So a lot of times, as a kid, as an adult, I'd spend some time each summer doing stuff like this, just because it's what I enjoy. It's what I like to do. I just stepped on something that was a piece of wood, it wasn't a turtle. There's a few other places I know where you can walk around and stuff like this. I usually have pretty good success rate. Like I said, we'll see what happens today. So a couple things to think about. One, they have seasons on things like catching turtles. That's a turtle. Okay. Beautiful. Painted turtle. Uh, looks like a male western painted turtle. So like I said, I just saw his head up and he just slowly went down. So I ran over and grabbed him. I didn't bring anything out right now. It's uh, not pressing enough to run this up to monster truck. Hey, boy! Paint it, turtle! So I'm just going to put it in my pocket for now. Yep, I'll see what else there is. But anyway, back to rules, regulations, laws, restrictions, things like that. 
Um, there's seasons on turtle harvest a lot of times, and you know, harvest you may think, well, I'm not, you know, killing it or eating it. I was just gonna pick it up, look at it, make a video with it, take some pictures of it. Yep, yeah, another painted turtle. See? So now that I'm able to look this way and catch them off the clouds, I'm able to see their heads pretty good in here. And as you see, neither one of those really moved. They both just went down. When they saw me, they went down slow. And then uh, and I ran, ran over and grabbed them. But so they've got open seasons on things like this. They've got uh, licenses. I think if you're over 16 or over in the state of Wisconsin, to harvest turtles, you're going to need a uh, fishing license or small game license. Like I said, even really to pick them up and move them. I've had my vehicle searched for turtles before. Yes, yes, had my vehicle searched for turtles, amongst other things in the years, but uh, it was interesting. But I had found a, a young snapper way far from where I thought it should be, so I took it out to a good spot. I knew where a lot of snapping turtles were where it could uh, grow up in an area with others and then eventually maybe have someone to mate with and make some more turtles on its own. That just kind of looked like a head to me. It may not be. It hasn't done anything. So, um, But then when I was there, I just kind of peeked around in the water like this. I wasn't grabbing them, picking them up. I was just walking around, seeing who I could find. And somebody called the DNR. They're kind of like the, you know, the game and fish people, Department of Natural Resources in Wisconsin. They came out and asked me what I was doing. So I was honest with them. So yeah, just dropped a turtle off here because I didn't think it should be where it was. And figured I'd help it out since it was such a little one, you know, before a crow or a raccoon or something else finds it and eats it. And uh, so I did that. And uh, I said, well, were you grabbing any here? I said, no, this is just where I let them go. I said, I walked around and looked. And I said, well, uh, if we found that turtle on you, and they said, we'd, uh, we'd have to find you. And I said, yeah, well, you know, I don't have any turtles on me. I said, well, 